which I think there's a pretty good chance that it will do that. It actually go red on the daily. Now you see how fast all of a sudden it just changes and then boom, you know. Okay, almost there. What's it bouncing off of here? It's bouncing off of, uh, made it down to 16. My exit's at 13. <laughs> You're too slow at what? Okay, I may get out here too. If it, if it comes back down close to it, it may just jump out. But it's most likely going to keep going. It's most likely going to keep going here because it's going to go red on the daily. Did you see what I mean? Uh, all of a sudden it just, um, you know, it just uh, changes really fast, you know. Okay, here it goes. It's going to go for another move down here. It should go and hit. I could go for more if I wanted to. Okay, I'm out. I'm out for uh, 40 ticks. Now you see how fast it changed? You know, you just have to, you sometimes just have to be patient, you know? And then all of a sudden it makes its move. What you really wanted to do was know what direction it was gonna go before it went there. Which knowing the code, obviously I do. Okay, guys, um, that was, wasn't too bad. I had to wait there for a little while, but uh, we ended up hitting it. So anyway, um, you missed the trade? How did you miss the trade? I've seen you miss one before. How did you miss it? How, how are you missing them? Explain what you're doing. Are you just getting scared not taking it or what? Or are you trying, what, what happened? The halfback technique also worked. Maybe you should have me trade for you. <laughs> After a while though, you'll get, you'll just be like, okay, I can see that uh, this works, you know, you just have to hang in there, take the losses when you get them and I think that there is a good chance, Matt. Um, you saw the big move down all of a sudden. That's your cue to go for more. Um, also, look at the daily. See, the daily is now neutral. It's most likely going to go red today. It's most likely going to go red. How far red, though, I don't know. I can't say. I would take a guess and say 46.90 maybe 4680 just just depends uh, tomorrow should be another easy day since now I know for sure mathematically what the code is I mean this morning I was a little bit you know a little bit cautious that it could have been another one but since it showed itself that it, that wasn't it and then we went for it I know for sure which one is it for sure um, uh, give me like, uh, well, maybe, uh, I'm not sure. Um, why don't we, why don't we just finish this week out? That'll give me time to prepare to do the Euro. But you got to remember something now. The Euro, it has been doing better lately. But for a long time there, the Euro would work one week and then not work another. And then work, you know, like, um. And then it didn't work for a long time. I stopped even tracking it for a while. Because I didn't want to bother. It was like it, it would work like part of the week and then not work, you know. And that's not the code. It has to work every day or it's not the code. Um, I, I think it probably will. But you have to keep in mind that... Um, it, it could bounce up quite a bit. We've got, uh, you know, other codes here that could bounce up into a bit. But 
you know, if you're going to go for them, you got to be willing to go for them, you know. It, the ones that you go for, you're going to hit. The ones that you aren't, you're going to hit. Also, keep in mind this. This is what, what I'd really like to get to, uh, you guys to understand. It's not how many ticks you make. It's how many contracts you are trading. Think in terms of that. You really want to up your contract. So how do you do that by and but but make it make it uh, workable? You go for strong mathematical trades. If it's 30 ticks, it's 30 ticks. If it's 40 ticks, it's 40 ticks. If you can get more 50 or 60, you get more 50 or 60. But trades that have that work with high mathematical. Yeah, sure, you could have got more if you'd have went for it. But you're not. You don't count. You don't think like that. You just think that. What can I get that I can get most of the time? I can get it with an 80% chance, 90% chance. Then you create, you've got your math so high that now you can increase your contracts. And then that's how you, that's really how you make money. Not by going with the ticks, because trying to get more ticks is harder than just upping your contracts. It's more of a gamble, so to speak. But you see the big move down all of a sudden? that was your cue to go for it if if you want to go for it that was it it looked very 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 good too and I can just tell you I called it before it would ever even happen that daily go red I called it when it was totally green to go red I've seen it happen more times than I can count but you still see, you don't see me going for it though, do you? You see me going for high mathematical trades. <laughs> Keep the math high every day. That's how you win the long run. Anyway, guys, I'm going to go uh, tomorrow. Same, same, same meeting time tomorrow as today. Uh, tomorrow's Friday. Let's make it a good day and we'll end the week uh, with another good trade. And you have a great weekend. Okay, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a great day out there. Take care. Okay, YouTube, I am done trading uh, in the trading room here. Made uh, 40 ticks on the exit, and um, I'm done for today. So I'll be back tomorrow on Friday to take another trade. Happy trading out there, everybody. <laughs>